Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. The Reliance Group has said that the firm has not received any contract from the Defense Ministry and incorrect information is being deliberately used to mislead people and cloud the issue. More than 50 export obligation contracts have been signed in the country till date, and the Ministry of Defense has no role in the selection of Indian partners by the foreign manufacturers, and this same process has been followed in the Rafale deal. Dassault Aviation and its Tier 1 suppliers have already indicated that more than 100 Indian companies will participate in the offset contracts, and it includes joint ventures with the Bharat Electronics Limited and Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. There is also a possibility that the 30% of total offsets can be discharged through transfer of technology to DRDO, as per the Defence Procurement Procedure. An Indian Air Force contingent member got an opportunity to fly on board the French Rafale aircraft as part of the exchange sorties during the integration training week of exercise pitch black in Australia. Indian Air Force is undertaking simulated air combat exercises in a controlled environment and mutual exchange of best practices towards enhancing the operational capability. After completion of the exercise, on returning from Australia to Indonesia, the Su-30 aircraft were refueled by KC-30 aircraft of the Australian Air Force. Creating a real-time communication and coordination between the first and the fourth strongest militaries in the world, India and the US have agreed for setting up a dedicated hotline between their defense ministers. The basic idea is to remove the bureaucratic channels and communicate discreetly in matters of bilateral and multilateral importance. There is already a direct line between the US National Security Advisor John Bolton and the Indian National Security Advisor Rajiv Doval. The Indian Army is giving final touches to a long pending project to manufacture specialized clothing and sleeping kits and other key equipments for its soldiers deployed in high altitude regions. Military sources have said that the Indian Army is aiming to save nearly 300 crore rupees every year by indigenous production of these items, which will be manufactured with the involvement of the private sector. The Indian Defence Minister has urged the Indian defence equipment manufacturers to look beyond the domestic market and supply their products overseas, and she assured that the Ministry will assist with whatever is required to expand their reach. The Ministry would not only welcome participation in existing products, but would also positively respond to any innovative ideas offered by local entrepreneurs on defence-related manufacturing items. Some changes have been made in the Chandrayaan-2 mission, as the lander vehicle will now go around the moon, and it will take a close look at the surface of the moon, before it descends on the moon for performing a battery of tests. The earlier plan was to make a direct landing on the moon, and this change in plan was made at the fourth technical review meeting, which entailed major changes to the hardware, including addition of a fifth liquid engine and a new leg configuration, and these changes have resulted in the delay of the mission. A cross-party group of 16 U.S. Senators has urged the Trump administration to block the International Monetary Fund from bailing out the countries that have obtained loans from China under its infrastructure development plan. The letter to Secretary of State Mike Pompeo and Treasury Secretary Steve Nutchen mentions Pakistan, Sri Lanka and Djibouti that have accepted billions of dollars in loans from China but are unable to repay. Thank <laughs> you.